but uh, I have uh, offers to be a company spokesperson for about six companies right now. It's really neat. And conferences are contacting me to be a speaker. I just got done at the 21 convention in Orlando, Florida, which was, I'm going to do a video on what I covered and why I think you should go to it next year. I only had a couple, what, about three weeks maybe to, uh, to let you, the viewing audience, know about the 21 convention. If you're a guy who is single or divorced, you need to go to the 21 convention next year. I'm giving you a one-year notice, and I'm going to be announcing it probably in the next month or two when it will be, and the speaker lineup and so forth. It was a great experience, and I'm happy to be part of the the speaking team. And I spoke on the the true face of modern masculinity. Masculinity is on a spectrum. Masculinity doesn't mean macho. Masculinity means being distinctively a man. Things that are distinctively owned by a man, as far as traits, as far as uh, a reaction to life. I'll give you a good example. I'm dating a girl years ago, and we're watching TV. We hear something outside the window, some type of noise. Thinking it might have been someone looking in the window. Very beautiful woman. Uh, divorced, so it could have been an ex-husband or ex-boyfriend or just like one of these things where and she startled for a second and I just ran over to the fireplace and grabbed the fireplace poker and ran out the front door and went into the bushes and I was I wasn't carrying at the time so I had a fireplace poker and and then I saw a raccoon running away, and I came back in. I said it was only a raccoon; it wasn't a person. So, and she was just like, "I said what?" Looking at the look on her face, she says, "I can't believe you ran out there." I go, "Why?" She says, "Because my ex-husband would be would have been crouching behind the couch, calling nine one one." I said, really? She says, oh yeah, absolutely. She says, I feel safe with you. I said, oh, thank you. But that's how I was raised. You kind of rise to the occasion. You don't run from chaos. You run towards it. You protect others. You step up to the plate, regardless of what the consequences might be. And it was just, just a reaction for me, a protective reaction that I had. That's distinctly masculine. If that's not modeled for you, you don't know what that is. If you're a crouch behind the sofa kind of person, my thought, I'm not questioning you, but like, how were you raised? Were you raised in fear? I, I was raised to have no fear of anything or anybody, period. Not to be foolish, but to not fear in any way. That's distinctly masculine. That's a good example of, of what I think a man is all about. Which, of course, is being questioned in the media and all over the internet and so forth. And like I said, it, it, masculinity, can it be defined? Masculinity is on a, on a, uh, is on a uh, spectrum. There are some people that are more macho than others. Masculinity is a, uh, a quality that you possess that doesn't scream masculine. It's quiet. And I'm speaking to the men now, of course, obviously. It's a quality that you possess that you have you live with it. You don't have to be it or act it. It's not a conscious thing. It's just something that you are. So I tell people masculinity is like pornography. You know it when you see it. 
You can walk into a museum and be surrounded by beautiful paintings of naked women and not think, I'm surrounded by pornography. You'd say, that's a beautiful painting. Walk into any museum. Like when I go to Philadelphia Museum of Art, there's more paintings of naked people. But no one ever says, cover up this porn. How dare they hang up this porn? No, because it's art. But if you see a photograph of a woman spread eagle with a seductive look on her face, you immediately it just rings, that's porn. One is art, one is porn. Some people would say porn is art. I would argue with that. You're not walking into the Philadelphia you're not walking out of the Philadelphia Museum of Art with a stiffy from looking at all the paintings. Let me put it that way. Okay? Because it's art. Case closed with that. The same thing with masculinity. Can I define it? It's hard to define, but I know it when I see it. And and that was one of the messages uh, that I talk about when it comes to the true face of modern masculinity when I spoke at the 21 convention. All right, enough rambling for today. I hope you benefited a little bit. I'm going to be making some uh, more videos on the content of what I spoke about and commenting on some of the speakers as well. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Toast you again with the coffee. I do have a coaching business and I cut hair. Those are things that I do. I have uh, several irons in the fire and I've always said it was a great thing, even before people started talking about diversifying and multiple streams of income, I was doing it long before you ever even heard that phrase. So I challenge you, get yourself a little side hustle, a little side job, a little thing, as my grandfather, Italian grandfather would say, always have something you can do with your hands or do with your brain or content creation or something. Over the past uh, year and a half, you watched me become 100% independent from going to a job and punching a clock. And I did it in real time on camera for you to see. And it's been fun. It's been fun. It was a struggle, but I, because I've never documented uh, a journey like I have with this so, have a great day. Hit me up if you want some coaching. We can do it through several different platforms, phone, Skype, and uh, helping you get unstuck. That's what it's all about. Those of you who've been following me for a long time, it's what I've been saying for the past almost year now, that 2017 is the year that you get unstuck. Now I'm getting ready to fire up 2018 is the year that you get unstuck. You can do it. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So. All right, get some motivation today. Have a super day. See y'all.